This is the Subnado, a modular personal underwater propulsion device that has 14.3 pounds of thrust each. And guess what? I've got four of them attached to my legs. I'm gonna go so fast. This was just the slowest setting. Now let's put on the turbo. So much faster. creates an incredible amount of power. It's like I can fly underwater. is to jet more than a kilometer there and back again to the Rochelle Creole Rocks, a popular marine reserve with a ton of sea life. We're gonna check out what's there. It's crazy just how fast I can go with these jets on my legs. And I also need to be careful not to run down any fish because I'm actually as fast as they are now. Something I'm completely not used to, but it's so much fun. When I'm traveling a good distance with these jets on, I spend very little time at the surface. Sort of like a dolphin, I only breathe up once, probably every minute, for just one breath. That's all I need, because I'm not using any energy really while going with these. Made it. At the reserve and already seeing plenty of sea life, here we have a very special nope nope pointy fish, also known as a lionfish. Though they are invasive, I think they're pretty cool to swim with. This is a small Nassau grouper, and you can hear the croak it makes as I get close to it. This is a piper fish. It's hard to tell, but they actually have top and bottom fins that move along like an eel, and that's what propels them through the water. This little puffer fish did not want to come out and play. He was too shy, so I decided to leave him alone. This is a school of blue surgeon fish. I found this other puffer fish just a little while later. It's pretty cool seeing the way they use their top, bottom, and back fin to swim. This is so cool. I can't believe how much I've been able to see already. And you know what's really interesting is I'm not expending any energy. I mean, look at this. Right now, even I'm moving, but it doesn't take me any energy because of these jets. It's so cool. Each one of these jets weighs about 2.2 pounds, so four of them total equals 8.8 .8 pounds. I sink only slightly when I have all four of them on me. Woo! Probably my favorite thing about these Submatos is that I spend almost no time at the surface breathing up. So much of my time is spent underwater, where it should be. These are angelfish, and they're usually pretty curious. 
This is a school of gray snapper, a delicious eating fish that if I was spearfishing, I would certainly be targeting. And plenty of these are big enough for a meal. However, this is a national park, so there is absolutely no spearfishing or fishing of any sort allowed. This is a mast off of a sailboat not unlike my own. So a bit of a reminder while I'm here to be careful with my sailboat. Always cool to see underneath how the marine life takes it back over. It's one of my worst nightmares to lose my mast. Not far away, the boom is also on the seafloor. It's good sometimes just to have a seat and take a look around. Woo! So cool. The breathe ups are so easy because I'm just holding the controller. But I just stay at the surface. And right now I'm not even on the turbo mode, so if I want to breathe up even more, check this out. Cool. <laughs> I have to be very careful in this area. With waves coming overhead and going right next to and between big rocks, I need to be careful not to get swept in by a wave or hit my head on a rock, either of which by myself could spell disaster. It's so cool how much sea life is around. This marine park is certainly a treasure. down there. That's so cool. The last spot here off these rocks happened to be the one with the most fish. So cool. All right, I gotta start heading back. I'm getting super cold and I think the batteries are getting low. I had a little bit of a gear malfunction here. One of the torpedoes just came off my leg because the screw wasn't on tight enough. So I need to tighten down these screws so they're all secure on there. But because of the lead cord, it stayed right on there. I noticed immediately. So no harm, no foul. I just made it back. That was quite the adventure. First thing I can't believe with these is how cold I am right now for everything I just did because I wasn't doing any of the work the subnados were. I mostly was just holding my breath and equalizing and that's it. And I realized how many times I was going up and down to 30 feet and it never really took any energy to do that. So it's so cool that it can do that. So cool these can keep me up out of the water. The amount of fish life I was able to see and stay around, then go down and around. Some fish would swim away, but a lot of fish would kind of come near me because they saw and heard these things. I just got to tighten these screws and this will go right back on here. So really no problem. And I also want to let you guys know that this, uh, this setup you see here, I sort of made myself. They make these so they're supposed to go one on each hip but I decided to double them up so I can get four onto here. I'm still working with it, and still gonna be perfecting it, but it obviously works pretty good so far, but there's still some room for improvement. Hope you guys like this little adventure here with the Subnados, check them out, super cool company. I'll see you on the next adventure. Cheers. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I hope you feel inspired to begin adventures of your own. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For an exclusive in-depth look at this adventure lifestyle, and to further support my channel, 
become a member of my Patreon crew. Link in the description. I'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you.